And we're able to do that because we do not waste any opportunities. We do not waste any time from the moment that your child starts with us. So right from year seven, we have um, a very effective assessment and intervention program. We do lots of baseline assessments. We find out exactly where the children are at. We take their reading ages. We do CAT tests. We look at all sorts of data. Um, and then we make sure that they are pushed and challenged right from day one. We have our expert learner program, which encourages them not just to think about their attitude in lessons, but to make sure their attendance is really high and that they're collecting house points. Um, and then we have an employ employability framework as well, which encourages them already right from the moment they start with us in year seven to be thinking about their future choices and where they might end up, getting them to aim high and think of the best for themselves. I can't teach every child myself much as I would love to. Uh, so my key job as a head teacher is to make sure that the best staff are in front of our children every single day. Um, and that's really my mission. My mission is to recruit the best teachers uh, and to allow them and empower them and encourage them and support them and coach them to teach brilliant lessons to our students. And if I can do that, then I know that we've got a brilliant school right here. Uh, and I think that's a privilege. It's a privilege when I walk around my school and I can go into any classroom, any subject, any teacher, and I know I will see good learning taking place. And if I don't, then that teacher won't be here for very long. We'll move them on and we'll get somebody better in. That is what good teaching and good leadership is all about, making sure that every student in every lesson at any time of the day is going to get high quality education. And also making sure that every one of those teachers really, really cares about the children. They've got to have the right values. They can't just be a good teacher. They've got to genuinely care about every child that's in our school and under our care. And I'm really proud that we are the school of this local community. And that means that every child, um, whatever their ability, whatever their need, is welcome at Baysgarth. And it's our mission to make sure that every child that sets foot through our doors in year seven leaves us in year 11. We don't kick kids out, we don't off-roll kids. Um, it is our mission to make sure that we serve the needs of every single child. Uh, we have an incredibly strong SEND team uh, led by our fantastic Senko uh, and her assistant in our Senso, so that's Emma and Emily, and they do an incredible job along with their team of HLTAs and LSAs to serve and support our students who have additional needs in the classroom. And we also have our own alternative provision on site on, on um, a unit on site called Headway. And the aim of Headway is to make sure that those students for whom they're finding learning in the classroom difficult, rather than keep getting it wrong, uh, we can do some really intensive work with them on their social, emotional and mental health, uh, turn them around and then get them back into lessons, working hard and being the best person that they can be. And when our students get it right, and they do get it right most of the time, we make sure that that is recognised and rewarded. We do that outside of lessons. Students carry a conduct card around with them all the time, which means that when they hold a door open for politeness, when they greet us and have a nice conversation with us, um, when they put some litter in the bin, when they do something that shows those community values, we can instantly reward that. And those uh, conduct cards then get put into prize drawers for um, spot prizes, early dinner passes, all sorts of rewards as well. We reward high attendance as well uh, and we reward those students who get the most house points for what they do in lessons as well. All of these things are really, really rewarded um, with lots of prizes throughout the year, treats and then um, activity days for the winning students and the winning houses as well. So we have a massive culture here that's all about saying when you get it right, we're really going to value and recognise that. And particularly for our year sevens, they have their own celebration day at the end of year seven. So to recognise the hard work that's gone into year seven uh, and the fantastic work that they've been doing in lessons and out of lessons, those students who meet our expectations and meet our standards will then get a whole celebration event, a graduation event, um, which might not even happen on site. We might go away for that um, and have a little bit of a, a nice trip for the students just to celebrate the fact that they've completed their first year at Baysgarth and that they are ready and proven themselves ready to go forwards into year eight. One of the things I'm absolutely gutted about that we were we're not able to hold this open evening this year is that you won't get to see uh, the outstanding facilities that we have got on site, um, especially as they're being added to each year. Um, you know, we've got a brand new building taking shape on our site at the moment, another additional six classrooms to accommodate the extra students that are, are here at Baysgarth every year. 
Um, that will be a fantastic block for our art students, uh, three purpose-built art classrooms that are just going to have the most wonderful facilities. Um, and it, we really do support the arts in this school. We, we've got some fantastic music facilities, music practice rooms, uh, and students who learn instruments, they can uh, have uh, music tuition as well, which is superb as well. We have uh, drama facilities. We ha not only have a drama studio, but we have a, um, a main hall which is set up um, with community support, with fantastic lighting, sound and staging. Uh, and it just means our productions are incredibly professional. But we also have a, a purpose-built dance studio with a sprung floor and a mirrored wall. Um, that just means that we can uh, provide the most wonderful facilities for our students. And that's in addition to the incredible PE facilities that we've got. Uh, not only our sports hall and our gym, but also our multi-use game area and of course our full-size 3G floodlit football pitch, which I know many of you will have used already in the community, both as parents and as children, uh, to enjoy our wonderful facilities. And we're adding to them all the time. Just over this summer, we've had um, some jumping pits put in and some throwing circles put in for nets to enhance our athletics provision. And this is working with the local athletics club as well. And all of these partnerships uh, between the school and the local community are incredibly impressive and important to us. Um, the school itself is now five years old, but it still has the most wonderful new, it feels like a new building still, um, with the wonderful new technology classrooms, science classrooms and other facilities that you just cannot have uh, in a primary school. Uh, and we know that we are leading in this field out of um, all of the schools in the local area. Here's a picture of one of our green power cars. We have several of these in school, electrically powered vehicles as uh, part of our commitment to the environment and commitment to doing other things rather than just what happens in normal lessons. Here it's a community partnership project. You can see us working with some of the REN employees here as, uh, as well. And we've taken this green power car and raced it around the, the Silverstone circuit uh, as well as other circuits uh, around the country and even around Hull city centre. It's just one of the many ways in which we encourage our students to get involved uh, and try out different skills, see what engages them uh, and give them opportunities to be happy and successful in school. We brought these into the curriculum this year um, through our Inspire Time, which takes place every other Wednesday afternoon. That's an opportunity for students to work with students from other year groups. So for the only time in the whole of their um, curriculum, they actually get to work with sevens, eights, nines and tens, all in the, the same environment, working together on different projects. And that might mean going down and having swimming sessions at the local leisure centre or using their gym facilities. It might be playing street golf on the uh, school field. It might be attending film club or chess club, or it might even be planning uh, an escape room to do around the school as well. So we really do give our students incredible opportunities, uh, not just to achieve the highest results, but also to try out different things that will test and challenge them and may, who knows, lead to careers in the future. We absolutely pride ourselves on the fact that we offer incredible opportunities for our students to go on trips and visits uh, outside the classroom as well. Um, even as I speak today, I know there's a, a geography trip gone off to Flamborough. Uh, and yesterday there was a business trip that went to uh, Cave Castle to look at a local business, um, which is where we have our prom as well at the end of year 11. So trips take place almost every day. Um, here you can see our staff and our students who went to Morocco on a trekking activity uh, a couple of years back. And we've gone as far as China and Zambia. We go all over the world. We've been to New York uh, as well as the, uh, the usual skiing trips and things like that. Um, we absolutely encourage and positively support uh, our students and our staff to give our children um, the widest possible experiences while they're at Baysgarth. Here's our allotment and it's another example of, um, of the community working together, not just the community in school, but the community outside of school working hand in hand uh, for the benefit of our students. Not all of our students can be successful in the classroom, but that doesn't mean that they can't be successful at some point in their school lives. And it's up to us to make sure that we provide all sorts of different opportunities for them um, to allow them to feel good about themselves, to believe in themselves and to be successful. And a lot of those are done in conjunction and in partnership with organisations in our local community. 
And if you feel you can help with this, then please get in touch with us uh, because there are so many things that we can do. We'd love to get work experience opportunities set up for our year 10s and year 11s in the local community so that they can do that and inspire time. Um, we'd love to be able to get them to see the world of work and we get them to hear about the world of work as well. So if you, you have a passion um, for the job that you're in and you want to spread that to our students, then get in touch. And if you have a, a community organisation that you think would work well with the school, then again, get in touch and we will see what we can do to work together because we are strongly rooted in this local community. We are the school of this community and we're really proud of that. So the more that we can do to bring the community and the school together, the better. And I guess the key question that you'll be uh, worrying about in your mind is how will we make those links between primary and secondary school? Well, as I said, we are the school of this local community. Uh, we have incredibly close links with all our partner primary schools. Um, we're into those schools regularly. We're part of the Barton Local Collaborative Trust, um, which is Baysgarth and our partner primary schools. We work closely with all of them um, to make sure that that transition from primary to secondary school is really, really strong. Our staff have already done lots of work in the community um, with our primary schools. Um, with our year five sixes in particular, uh, we have events where we bring the fives and sixes up to school um, so they get to experience Baysgarth before they come. Uh, and then when we're going to get later in the year, we'll be doing lots of visits to our primary schools, particularly working with uh, the SENCO and the special needs team to make sure that those students who have additional needs are well catered for and we're well aware of them before they come up. Um, for some of our students, that we have a special curriculum for them when they start in year seven to make sure that they are properly settled into our school and into our school life and our culture before they go into our lessons because that is our commitment to support and that is part of our kindness and caring side. Um, we also have Transition Youth Club in the summer where students come and, uh, and immerse themselves in transition events uh, and get to work with our staff and our students. Um, and we ran a summer school last year and would hope to do the same again next year as well so that students just feel that sense of belonging. And as you can see from the picture below, when they arrive, um, we do lots of work with team building with them. Um, we had the trip to Elsham just last Friday with our current year sevens, um, where they do lots of different activities, get to know each other, get to find friends and make friends easily. And I think you know, the, the best testament is that is speaking to parents who have been through the process because they will tell you about the, the, the good level of support that they've got from us. Um, and we've had loads and loads of positive comments from our, our parents about the, uh, the nature and the amount of support that comes through the transition process. I'm very proud of what we've achieved at Baysgarth in the last eight years since I've started. Um, I've got an incredible team. I've got incredible teachers. But more importantly than anything, I've got incredible students here uh, and this is the best community I've ever worked at in my nearly 30 years in, in education. And I absolutely love being the head teacher of Baysgarth School uh, and promote it everywhere and anywhere I go about what a wonderful place it is and what wonderful students that we've got. We'd love you to be part of that for the next five years. Um, and we're not sitting on our laurels. That's the key message from me is that we won't stop until this school is, is the best school anywhere, never mind just in this local area. We are massively ambitious for our future, for our students, for our staff, um, and we will just commit ourselves to doing everything that we can to make this school the best place it can possibly be. Um, so I hope you do decide to join us. Um, and I'm really sorry that we're not able to speak in person uh, and shake hands on Monday and, and and do all the things that we would normally do on an open evening to show off what a great place that this is. Um, but this will just be the, the sort of first little bit of what we'll try and do over these next couple of weeks to, to get you as involved as possible in the school. Uh, we hope to be making visits to primary schools and speaking to some of the students there. Um, we'll be running loads of tours out of the school during the school day. So if you want to sign up for one of those tours, just look out for the information that will come out in the next couple of days. Um, we've got a dedicated email address, transition at baysgarthschool.co.uk. So if you've got any questions or queries, then please get in touch with us and we'll answer those as quickly as possible. Um, and really, that's kind of like it. I'm, I'm gutted that I'm having to do this. Uh, there's nothing I hate more than sitting in an office videoing myself. It's the most embarrassing and excruciating thing that you can possibly do. I'd much rather be standing in front of you in, in the main hall on Monday night. Uh, but sadly, 
Public Health England have, have told us that that isn't something that we should be doing at this moment while cases are so high around here. Uh, I hope this presentation has been helpful to you. And like I said, if there's anything else that you want to know or need to know, please get in touch, ask us any questions. We'll get straight back to you. Um, I'm looking forward to working with you over the next five years. Take care, everyone.